I'll take you. But you're not going all the way to Birmingham on your own for you. But that's stupid. I won't be on my own. Not with Lindsay and Debbie and Carla. None of their mums are going, have they? I don't care what I'm they're doing. Me. You're going Please, Mum. Right. No, please, no more arguments. Get up those stairs and get to me. And wipe that muck off your face! Stay with you. I'll go and get you a cup of tea. All right, Tiffany. I still feel a bit sick. Someone will be along soon to take up to the children's ward. It won't be long, I promise. Hi, Ross the boss here, and off we go with the tea time show. And you've had these pains before? Twice. But they went away before. Not like this time. Well, that's why they've admitted you, to get it sorted out once and for all. This is your bed. It's already got your name on it, safe. Oh, is that your uh, date of birth or your telephone number? Sorry. Look, if you're still feeling a bit iffy, you can hop into bed. I can find you some pyjamas until your mum can bring your own things. Do I have to? No, it's entirely up to you. Just make yourself comfy and the doctor will be along to see you shortly. Thank you. I just need to take a few more details from your mum. Just press that buzzer there if you need anything, all right? And don't look so worried. We're user-friendly. <laughs> Hiya. Tiffany. I used to have a dog called Tiffany. <laughs> what are you in for? I'm having my appendix out. Are you bothered? I've never been in hospital before. It's no big deal, you know. Cross between a posh hotel with maids and waitresses and a school canteen, because the grub's lousy. <laughs> what are you in for? Brain surgery. You reckon I'm too clever for me own good, so they're going to take it out? <laughs> I can see you're going to be a lot. No, I'm in for tests. Oh, see him. He wants to take no notice of him. He only does it to annoy you. He can't get out of bed, so he gives it plenty of that. Oh, by the way, my name's Keely. Oh, yeah. 
Is that Mrs. Brad? You could just introduce What's happening? This is Dr. McEwen, the consultant paediatrician. Mrs. Brad? What's going on? How is she? Thank you, nurse. Well, as far as we can tell at this stage, uh, Fiona has a badly fractured right arm and quite a lot of bruising. And the x-rays have picked up a fracture of the skull. Oh, my God. No, no, no. It's a, it's a very fine fracture, and it's not serious in itself. But I'm afraid she is still unconscious. Um, it was my fault. I, we were rowing about... I mean, way lots of good games, didn't it? We could play drafts. Boring, boring, boring. Wayne always knew what to play. Look, if you're that bored, I'll do you a deal. 20 minutes each on my new computer game. You give me some of your chips at tea time. You're not supposed to have chips, actually. Suit yourselves. You may as well wait in here till Doctor can manage to get up to see you. Everybody, this is Tiffany. Hello. Uh, before you all start asking, she's an appendix. Uh, ben, you'll introduce her to everybody, won't you? Sure. I want the phone. Wait, pardon, Master William, what was that? I want the phone. Well, if you want the phone and you want me to get it for you, you'll say please. I want the phone, please. There's somebody using it right now. What's up? Nothing. Oh, come on, Billy, you're grumpier than normal. There must be something wrong. Well, what do you think, eh? I've been stuck in this dump nearly four weeks. I can't move. I can't get up. There's nothing on telly. What do you think? Have you had any visitors today? Yesterday? Why do you not think everybody's desperate for visitors? I'm not bothered about visitors. I'd rather be left on my own. I'll get you the phone just as soon as it's free. 